Hello, good afternoon everybody. This is Xavi Rofes from the TDM Solutions team and welcome to this new webinar for the Chinese market with our partners WNW from Taiwan. Hello Raymond. Hello Xavier. 大家午安,很高興今天大家參加我們這個Ranogo的中文研討會. Today, today we are going to model an entire jewelry piece. We are going to model a hello ring. For that, we have our workmate next to us, uh, Pedro Lobrero, our cat manager at TVM Solutions. Hello, Pedro. Hello, Xavi. Hello, Raymond. Hello, all the attendees. Once again, thanks for joining us today. It's a pleasure to, to have the chance to show Rhino Gold. And of course, uh, let me introduce as well Stacy and Monica, who are our uh, workmates in in Taipei, that will help us in the in the technical support here in the chat. Of course, if you have any question, please uh, you can write us in the chat section, and, and we all will be more than happy to help you. OK,我们今天将会为我们示范软体功能的是我们的教育训练主管叫做Petro。那我们同时间在台北这边呢,我们有两位同事会协助我们回复问题,一位是Monica,一位是Stacy。那如果大家有任何的问题,欢迎直接
r a n o Go 呢，自从二零一五年开始，我们推出最新版本是五点五版。那目前 r a n o Go 可以说是世界上最受欢迎的珠宝设计的专业软体。此外呢，我们里面包含了非常多非常强大的工具。今天我们就要会示范给大家看，怎么样用很简易的方法，你就能够去绘制出非常复杂的模型。OK， s h a v i e r Excellent. So this is the render of what we are going to create today. This is not a, a, a real a real photo. This is also a picture created from Rhino Gold that today we also see how we can create photorealistic image. This is going to be the the final the final step of our presentation. Okay, um, 大家看到画面上这个这个图形呢，这就是我们今天呃要示范给大家看的一个一个造型的部分。那大家刚刚所看到的那并不是实体的照片，那是经由 Rhino Go 内建的渲染软体所去呈现出来的效果，呃，所产生的图形。Excellent. And these are the main tools that we are going to see today. We are we are going to show, of course, how to use the Hello Studio tool, but also very interesting tools such as the Gem by Curve. The Jam Studio. We are going to show how to use different 2D tools. It's quite interesting to see how to model in 2D to later create the the 3D. And other tools like the bezel or the head, the dynamic prongs and prongs in line, that are very 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 useful for for modeling jewelry. At the end, as I said, we are going to create a photorealistic image, and also we're going to export this object in STL for rapid prototyping. OK， 呃、uh, ，今天等一下我们会看到呢，我们会使用的一些功能，就像画面上大家看到的，像这个 Hello 工作室啦，或者是宝石工作室，甚至于是像 2D， 就是 2D 的这个呃工具，呃，我们可以看到如何从 2D 的手绘设计，或者说平面设计，转换成 3D 建模的部分，还有其他像一些呃宝石的箱口的功能啦，还有一些动态呃丁香的功能。OK， 学别。OK， then。Now it's time. It's time to see Rhino Gold in life. It's time to learn Rhino Gold. As I said, any question, please use the chat to to ask any anything that you have in mind. We are more than happy to help you. So, Pedro, now it's your turn. Uh, let's let's uh, learn Rhino Gold. Okay. So, <clears throat> thank you very much. So let's start with the Rhino Gold. I'm going to open the Rhino Gold interface. And let's start creating this model. Uh, as always, uh, when we are creating a ring, the first step uh, it's always recommendable to define the ring size. So, uh, in this case, uh, under the jewelry tab with the gauge tool, uh, we can do it easily. We just need to define in the side panel the ring size we want to use. Also, we have. Uh, Several ring size charts, and uh, after defining the ring size, we have a circle with the ring size uh, we want to use. After this, okay. uh, Pedro, may I? Yes, of course. Okay. Ah, we in the beginning, uh, just like we do in the traditional jewelry design method, we first find the size of the ring. Then we use the gauge to define the size of the ring. Then we use the gauge to define the size of the ring. Then we use the gauge to define the size of the ring. Then we use the gauge to define the size of the ring. Then we use the gauge to define the size of the ring. To define uh, uh, the bottom part of the ring, uh, but actually, uh, probably it's it's better to define the the main gem first. So uh, the the next step, I'm going to define a, a gem with a gem studio, and uh, in here I'm going to use uh, let's use five millimeters diameter for this gem, and I will place the gem uh, in the top. Of the ring, uh, Raymond. Okay. If, if you want, yes. uh, feel free to 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 interrupt me because okay. uh, I can I can uh, move on uh, with the process uh, while you are translating. So any moment, feel free、oh. to interrupt. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 好，我们先，呀，我然后我们接下来这个步骤呢，就呃，我们就开始来定义我们主要主石的呃种类跟大小的尺寸。所以呢，大家可以看到，我们现在把这个呃主石定义出来以后，我们把它移动到一个比较高的位置。Okay, Pedro, your turn. Okay, so after the gem, after the main gem, 
I, I define the position in the top of the ring. Of course, if I need to adjust the position later, uh, I can do it easily, so uh, there isn't any problem if it's not exactly the place we want to use the gem. And uh, now I'm going to define uh, the halo around the, the main gem. So I just select the gem, and under the jewelry tab, we have the halo tool ready to be uh, customized. Uh, so now the idea is to use all the parameters from the halo tool in this side panel to define the halo, for instance, the profile, we can, of course, adjust the, the measure for the gems. In this case, I'm going to use gems with uh, 1.3 millimeters. Okay, and of course, uh, the same for the prongs. We can adjust the position. As you can see in the side panel easily, we can adjust the diameter, uh, all the measures, uh, the position. So. This is the idea. Okay. Um, um, just now you can see we in our jewelry the this work unit. There is a this halo the a uh directing part. Now we can choose this kind of the it will automatically produce for us the jewelry part and the main the gate part and the small part. Now you can see the in the right side. 呃，控制面板上可以看得到，我们所有的控制都是参数化的控制。您可以调整，不管是戒指的呃，就是钻石的大小，或者是爪的大小，甚至于高度、厚度、斜率，你都可以在那边做所有所有的调整的部分。OK， OK， <coughs> so now I'm going to move on after the the halo. Maybe I will just need to define a uh, less uh, distance in the extrusion, maybe something like this, but uh, we can easily define any any position and all the parameters are available in this side panel. So remember also we can any moment edit the object and, and change anything we, we need. So after the halo, uh, I will I will uh, then create the, the prongs for the main gem, but now I'm going to the front view to define uh, the, all the other parameters for the ring. So now I'm going to define the curves in order to define the, the shank. To do it, okay. yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> 大家看到我们刚刚在做这个, uh, 主要的箱口的时候呢，我们一旦定义了以后，大家不用担心，我们在未来在设计的任何时间点，您都能够做做修改。那大家可以看到，我们现在把我们的这个箱口放到我们要的位置以后，接下来下一个步骤，我们来到前视图这个部分<咳>，我们要来做定义这个我们的界圈的形状。OK。Okay, so uh, now the next step, I'm, I'm using the offset tool under the drawing tab to define, uh, off, in this case, another curve in the outside direction with uh, 2.5 millimeters distance. So we can easily define the, the distance to offset in the common line and we just need now to click in the outside direction. So uh, as you can see now, the result is another curve with 2.5 millimeters distance from the original one. So uh, I will just I will just use the, the bottom part of this curve, and uh, now I'm going to create another curve, just a, a straight line, to define a, a cutting curve in order to remove the top part of the circle. So I define the, the line, and then I just need to use the trim tool and uh, select the object to, to cut. In this case, the cutting object is the line. And then uh, the object to, to trim will be this part. So as you can see easily, we can cut the top part of the circle. And of course, then we can uh, delete the, the, the line. After yes, if if you want it, Raymond, feel okay. free. <laughs> yeah, just to, just to briefly uh, oh, okay. introduce. Go ahead. Okay, 大家可以看到我们刚刚从我们定义的这个界圈的大小的时候，我们用了这个 offset 偏移的功能去定义我们界圈的外面外围的这个这个形状。<coughs> 那并且呢，我们用线条剪切的功能呢，把呃
线条做一个剪切，留下我们下半部的戒指的形状。那我们接下来要来做上半部的造型。Okay, Pedro. Okay, so now I see that I will uh, need a little bit more distance in uh, under the the main gem. So I move up the main gem uh, one millimeter in this case, just a little bit more, and uh, I will extend this curve in order to to connect with the halo. So under the drawing tab, we have the extend uh, tools we can I will use in this case the extend curve smooth so I just select the curve I want to extend and then I can easily define uh, the position so in this case I'm going to remove the grid snap to define any point I want and uh, in this case I'm going to define the curve uh, uh, in the end of the curve in this point okay so uh, now we have the curve connected to the halo and to make sure I'm going to to have exactly the same curve in the other side I'm going to cut this curve to cut the, the, the to divide the curve in two in two halves and of course then I just need to create the symmetry so the same process I define a line to cut this curve and with a trim tool I define the objects to 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 cut and the uh, object to trim in this case this part of the curve so after this I just need to create the symmetry so this okay. is the result okay. yes okay 呃，大家可以看到，我们刚刚因为线，我们把线条做一个延长，利用我们这个绘制，然后延长的功能，我们把线条做延长延伸到我们上面的箱口的部分，然后在中心的部分，我们定义一个中心线，然后利用我们的镜射的左右镜射的功能，把另外一边的线条镜射过来。OK， OK， so uh, now the next step. Uh, I'm going to define uh, the, the thickness in the inside the direction so to do it uh, again with the offset tool I define I will keep the same distance 2.5 millimeters and I just need to pick a point in the inside direction so this is the result this curve and I will do exactly the same in the circle again with the offset tool and I define another curve in here so uh, I'm going to hide the outside curves just to show the results the circle and the outside curve and uh, now I just need to cut the parts I don't want to use in this case the bottom part of these two curves so once again with the trim tool I define the object to trim this and this Okay, so at this point we have the curves defined. Let me show the other curves. So this is the result. Okay, uh, 刚刚看到我们刚刚把我们最外的戒戒指的戒圈外面的部分先做一个隐藏的动作，然后利用这个呃、uh, 我们有一个剪切的功能，把我们的线条剪到我们要的形状，也就是我们上面想要预留留空的这个部分。然后呢，我们在把原来的线条再把它重新显示，因此我们就得到这个就是我们借圈所要的形状。OK。OK。呃 ，So the next step, I'm going just to hide the 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 main gem in the halo, just to uh, in this case to close this curve. So I just need to use the line tool, and I'm going to activate the endpoints in the in the O snap, just to make sure I'm using uh, I'm, I'm creating a curve from this endpoint to the other endpoint and I will repeat the step in the other side and finally I'm going to use the auto connect tool to join all these curves in the single one so now I have my uh, closed curve okay Yes. 我们刚刚用的这个呃，就是我们刚刚把我们的线条呢，利用呃，在画出线条以后，我们利用这个自动连接的功能，把我们的线条做一个封闭的一个情况。那得到这就是我们要接圈的整个形形状。So at this point, I have the curve uh, uh, that defines the 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 ring shank. So 
using this, these curves, I just need to extrude in order to define my solid. So under the modeling tab with the extrude tool, I just need to define the extrusion distance. In this case, I will use the option both sides and probably in the right viewport, it's easier to define exactly the distance we want to use. I'm going to change the display mode to uh, shade it and uh, let's say I want uh, three millimeters thickness. So what I'm going to define is one, one and a half for both sides. So 1.5 millimeters and I just click, in this case I use the grid as reference, remember each square it's a millimeter, so uh, easily we can we can define uh, the distance we want to apply. Okay. okay. Uh, 大家可以看我们现在用的是刚刚的线条, 然后我们利用挤出的功能, 把它从两个方向就是两边挤出, 那各挤出1.5mm的范围, 所以我们刚刚把它切换到右视图来看的时候呢, 会看得比较清楚, OK. OK, so uh, now the next step, uh, I have the, the ring shank, but uh, I want to define the areas I want to apply the gems, and uh, to do it once again under the front view, it will be easier uh, to define all the curves I need. I'm going to hide the, the solid we create in the previous step, and in here, I just need to create uh, another offset. In this case, I will start with the outside curve, and back to the drawing tab, I'm going to use the offset tool again, and in this case, I'm going to define another distance. So in the common line, I need to define the new distance. In this case, I will define 0 0.5 millimeters. So this is the offset distance now. I just pick the point inside, and this is the result. Of course, I need to repeat this step to the circle uh, inside, uh, the, the circle that defines the ring size. So exactly the same, I select the circle and with the offset tool to define my uh, curve. Okay. okay. So, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Okay, okay. we have the the Okay. Okay, thank you. So uh, now uh, the next step will be uh, uh, to cut the bottom part of this curve because I just want to, to apply gems in the, in the top part of the ring. So using a, 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 a rectangle, I can define a cutting curve. Uh, the, the important thing is that I make sure I'm using the, the the middle of the ring to start the rectangle and uh, then I, I can use again the trim tool to define the rectangle as cutting object. In this case I will define all the objects, all the curves as cutting objects and I press enter and now I need to define the objects, in this case the curves to trim. So I select all the curves I want to remove and this is the result. Once again, I have the, the closed curve. I just need now to join all these curves in a single one. So with the auto connect tool, easily we can do it. Uh, probably in here I will need to adjust also the, the, the curve. So maybe with a straight line, uh, I can define the, 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 the position where I'm going to, to start applying the gem. So I leave a small distance to the halo, and I just need to uh, to uh, create a symmetry to the other side with this same curve, and once again I select all the curves and I repeat the trim uh, uh, trim tool to remove the parts I don't want 
to use. So I just click on the curves I want to remove and this will be the area where I'm going to apply the gems. Okay, uh, 大家刚刚看到我们利用一个正方形以及两个线段呢来做一个自动剪切的一个一个功能那记得在剪切以后我们得到所有我们要的线段它是分离的那要使用这个自动连接的方式把它连成一个封闭的一个线段的我们才能够
要排石头的位置做定义出来以后呢，我们现在要做的就是我们在戒指的侧边的这个部分。那我们使用的是这个偏移里面的曲面上曲线偏移的功能<咳>，我们可以直接把这个偏移做出来。那一样，我们分两边来定义的整个中间的范围。OK， OK， thanks Raymond. Uh, now uh, I just uh, need to create the 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 other curves, uh, and it's uh, probably easier with the extract ISO curves. I just define the surface, and uh, in this case, it's not this direction. Is I just need to change the direction in the common line, and um, I in this case I will define another curve in here. So more or less. In the same position as the as the front view, one curve in here and the other in here. So these curves, uh, it's uh, the same process. I am defining the area which I want to apply some gems, so I can hide the the ring just to be easier to cut all these curves again with the trim tool. So drawing tab. Trim, I select cutting objects, in this case all the curves, and the objects to trim, I select the parts I want to remove. So exactly like this. And here we have the, the area I want to apply the gems. Okay, so uh, now uh, let me show the ring again. And I'm going to repeat the pull push tool in this case uh, to create the recessed area in the side. So pull push first the surface and then the curve. So this is the result, the recessed area. You can define the distance and click OK to apply the changes. Uh, to do the same in the other side, I just need to create this exactly this same curve in the other side, so easily with the uh, symmetry, in this case uh, horizontal symmetry, I define this curve in this side and once again back to the modeling tab with the pull push tool, I select the surface and I select the curve and of course the distance and click OK to apply the changes. OK, uh, 大家看到我们刚刚把我们要的呃区域范围用线条定义出来以后呢，一样我们使用剪切的功能，把它剪切到我们要的样子以后，记得用自动连接把所有线段连接成一个封闭的曲的曲线。那然后呢，我们利用中心点的这个镜像复制以后，到两边使用推拉的功能，把我们要的区块往内推，推出来的呃就是推进去的部分，这个部分就是等一下我们要排列宝石的部分了。OK， 佩卓。OK， so uh, the next step uh, I need to apply the gems on this on this ring. So uh, I will start probably with the with the side gems and then I'm going to the front view and I will define these gems. So uh, I will start with uh, the side gems uh, and uh, probably the easiest way we have uh, is the gems by curve tool. This tool allows us to, to apply gems uh, along a curve but of course in this case I need to define the central curve in here to apply the gems. So uh, the easiest way uh, it's once again to create the curve uh, extract ISO curves tool and of course I need to select the surface so in this case let me remove the endpoint in this case the surface is this one I just changed the direction so I want this direction and I want to make sure I'm using the midpoint so I'm going to activate the midpoint option in the OSNAP and I just click on the mid and here we have the curve. So of course now the uh, gems by curve tool allow me to define the curve. So of course the next step will be just to define the gems position, the number of gems and of course the gem size. 
So as you can see in the side panel, I can define in this case gems with uh, 1.7 millimeters and with this point allow me to define the start position for the gems. I want to leave some space to apply the prongs so I will start in this position and then in the second tab I will define um, uh, the, I will justify the gems in order to divide the number of gems along the curve. So uh, back to the list uh, of gems, I will define the number of gems. In this case, I'm going to use eight gems. So I will repeat this step and I will adjust the start position of the gems. And as you can see, the gems are defined. I just need to click OK, and as you can see, the gems were successful created. Okay, uh, 大家可以看到我们在准备做这边的时候，有一个很重要的部分，我们需要有一个这个中心的线条的部分。所以我们刚刚使用的是复制边缘里面的一个功能，直接去呃复制我们的边框，或者是抽离结构线，把这个中线的
and in the top view will be easier to define the position. So remember, once again, if we press shift when we drag one prong, it will, uh, it will uh, drag all the others around the gem. So in this case, I want to define the new position in here. So as you can see, now I have the prongs defined. If I need a little bit more thickness, I can define it easily. In the side panel, in this case, uh, 0 0.7 millimeters. And as you can see, the prongs are red. So, okay. Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, yeah. 大家可以看到我们现在用的是这个呃我们的起钉工具的部分 Okay. Okay. Thanks, Raymond. Um, so uh, just just uh, remember, any moment we can define the material for for the shank in the in the Rhino Gold Materials tab in the side panel. We can choose metal, and here easily we can drag the material to the object, as you can see. Uh, and uh, of course, um, now uh, I will uh, define the gems. Uh, in the side, in the side, uh, in this case, in the front view, for to, to apply on the rings. So uh, I'm going to the front view. Maybe with the um, wide frame, it it will be easier. And uh, this is the area I want to apply the gems. And in this case, I'm going to the gems tab, and probably. Uh, Probably uh, with the Gem Studio tool, uh, we have several possibilities to create these gems. Uh, I believe uh, the Prong Studio, the Gem Studio, uh, can be uh, the easiest way. So I just define Gem Studio tool and uh, the gem size. So in this case, I will define 1.4 millimeters diameter and in here, I'm going to uh, choose the option uh, insert uh, by uh, surf insert by surface. So I just need to pick any point on on any object to create my gem. So uh, I'm going to define to start defining only in this off of the ring. So uh, it's easier because uh, then I just need to create the symmetry. So I just start defining the gems position exactly in here. Okay. Okay,给大家看到我们现在要来做的是我们正式图的部分的宝石排列。那我们这个部分呢,我们现在给大家看到的是我们使用的是宝石工具的部分。然后我们可以直接在曲面上加宝石,插入宝石的功能。那我们去
once again I adjust the size I choose the point where I want to create the gem and finally once again let me change to 1.4 and I will define another gem in here then I will adjust the the position so doesn't matter if they are touching right now I will adjust the position and I just click OK to add the gems to the document so uh, now I just want to avoid the gems uh, to, to touch each other I just uh, need to adjust a little bit the distance in here so I drag the gem I just click and drag to the new position here again and the same in here so just make sure I have some space to create the prongs and as you can see uh, the position of these gems is uh, defined uh, now I will I will uh, apply uh, probably first the the symmetry so let me select all the gems maybe in the front view it's easier select all the gems remember press shift for multiple selection and uh, let's use once again the symmetry horizontal tool to create the gems to apply the gems in the other side of the ring okay, okay. yes uh, 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 排一半出来以后呢，我们先去排的时候，依照我们所需要的大小的范围。那不用担心，我们在插入的时候，它可能有有有接触到我们后续，大家可以看到我们在后续再去做调整就可以了。我们只要调整每个每个宝石之间有一
seems perfect. Remember, if we want, we can we can change measures, we can edit prongs after applied, and as you can see easily, we can define the prongs position. Okay, so uh, let me remove. Okay, uh, I forgot this last prong here and done. So uh, in the end, I just click OK to add the prongs to the document and I'm going to uh, create the symmetry. But uh, at this moment, the, the prongs are grouped, all the prongs are created. And uh, I don't want to create a symmetry with these two prongs, just all the others. So uh, first, I'm going to remove these prongs from this group. So drawing tab, grouping, uh, submenu, we can find the remove from group tool. So this tool allow me to select the objects I want to remove from group. So these two prongs are removed from the group. I just select the other prongs and I will uh, create the symmetry. So uh, transform tab, I'm going to define uh, once again horizontal symmetry to define the prongs in the other side and now I will select all the prongs, group them again and I'm going to uh, create the symmetry in this case uh, bit, uh, using the prongs and the gems, uh, I forgot to uh, group all the gems, so maybe it's easier for the selection only because of that. So maybe if I hide the gems and the prongs from the side, in the front view, I can easily select all the gems and prongs. So remember control for uh, to remove from the selection and shift to add to the selection. So I select gems and prongs. Maybe first I will group only the gems. So group tool again. And now with the gems and prongs selected, I will uh, define uh, the symmetry. In this case, I will choose a vertical symmetry. And here we go. Gems in both sides. OK,大家可以看到我們在做鏡色的時候呢,我們來開始要先把我們的爪箱做一個群組的動作。那由於中心的那兩個爪子,我們並沒有要讓它鏡色,所以我們再把它移除到我們的群組以外以後呢,我們
with the measures I want to use, I just click OK to, to apply these cutters in the document and uh, I will repeat uh, this process with the other gems. So once again I select uh, the, the gems in this side and I'm going to use the cutter tool again to define the cutters. So uh, let me change again to wireframe and to make sure the cutters uh, are not too big. Once again, I will use 30% in the bottom of the cutter. And let's see the results. As you can see now, the cutter is in here. So uh, back to the shaded display mode, uh, everything looks good, cutters in both sides, I just click OK to apply the changes. OK, uh,我们现在在做的这个动作呢,就像我们在手工在做珠宝一样,我们需要做一个打孔器。我们在做这个开孔的动作,把所有宝石的位置下面的金属要做一个,呃,就是一个开孔的动作。那大家可以看到我们
and this is the idea. Just okay. Uh, 大家看到我们先大概就把这个形状已这个造型已经完成了。那不过呢，要把它做得更好，更符合实际的珠宝的需要的时候呢，大家看到我们刚最后用了一个功能。它在我们的建模，然后圆角下面一个叫做不等距圆角的部分，然后我们可以去把我们的界圈，呃，内圈跟外圈做一个倒角的动作。大家看到我们倒起来以后就比较圆滑，那比较呃适合可以戴。OK， 没错。OK， thank you。Um， so， uh， probably， um， uh， now， uh， there is， uh， any any other detail we can。We can uh, define on the ring uh, the model. The model is ready. Uh, we can uh, from here um, create the, the photorealistic uh, image. Uh, we can of course uh, export the the the, um, the model to uh, STL file format in order to to be uh, printed. Uh, Maybe uh, I can create a photorealistic image uh, just to show all the process uh, uh, in this in this uh, in this ring to to generate uh, uh, a photorealistic image. Uh, and uh, to do it, I'm going to use the rend in this case under the render tab. I'm going to use the render studio tool. So uh, I can define. Uh, the gems. Uh, first, I need to define the materials. I'm going to start with the gems. Um, so, in in the side panel, when we click on Render Studio, we have all the uh, folders with the materials from Render Studio. I can open the gems folder and define, let's say, for instance, the main gem. I want to use um, a ruby. The the gems in the the gems in the halo. I can define. Let me select all the gems easily, like this. Just track a window. Maybe, of course, I don't want to select the prongs. So let me remove the prongs from the selection. Uh, just uh, I'm just clicking on on control to remove the prongs from the selection and now I will apply also the material for these gems And now uh, all the gems are selected. I can group them just to be easier for the selection. And uh, I can define, let's try, well, any material, maybe this one, just to be a little bit different. And of course, uh, the same in the side gems. So in these small gems, I can use, let's, let's use again this one, the, Andra, Andra did gem material, and of course uh, all the other uh, all the other uh, part. In this case, the metal, uh, I can select easily with the Rhino Gold Material Selector tab. I just double click on the material. In this case, the Rhino Gold material, uh, and of course back to the Render Studio tab. I need to change to uh, let's uh, to the let's go to the metal polish folder and in here uh, I will use um, uh, let's try white gold and uh, now uh, all the materials from <clears throat> from the render were successful uh, applied I just need now to calculate the render so uh, in the second tab I can find the render tab and in here, I need to set the resolution for the model and, of course, the position I want to create the render. So let's try this position. 
and <clears throat> of course uh, any in this case I choose any resolution we have the possibility to define the number of passes which uh, uh, if I don't uh, activate it will start rendering and then uh, we need to stop uh, the render uh, manually so if I don't uh, check or the passes or the time I will need to to stop render uh, if not I can define for instance 500 passes activating here and it will uh, uh, stop automatically uh, when when uh, uh, it calculates uh, 500 passes so let's try just click on render and here we go start uh, calculating the render Okay, uh, 大家看到我们现在在做的是渲染的动作，我们在软体里面一个渲染工作室的部分呢，我们呃就直接去把我们要的材质直接能够应用在我们的各个部位上。那当我们把所有的材质成功的把它放到我们要用的地方了以后呢
美金加上当地的税金。那如果任何的问题，包含软体的购买啦，或者是上课的部分、课程的内容以及软体功能的一些呃，想要更了解进一步的地方，你都可以 email 到我们中呃画面中间这个 rhino go at 九五零点 com 点 tw 部分。那我们提醒大家，因为我们今天我们接下来这个 webinar 都是一个系列性的一个呃活动，所以我们除了这一场以外呢，我们将在七月二十九号。会有另外一场的 webinar， 会有不同的内容。Okay, uh, Shabir, I just mentioned about the next webinar and、uh, encourage everybody to join again. Of course, of course, we、yes. will be more than happy to to keep teaching Rhino Gold.、Um, yeah. Today has been a one more than one hour、uh, modeling in Rhino Gold,、uh, and I hope it it was useful and helpful for for the audience. 希望呃，今天我们今天的呃 webinar 已经超过一个小时的时间了，不好意思。那希望呃，所有参与的人呢，都有一些呃，都有学到一些东西啦，然后甚至于对人要够更进一步的认识。OK， OK， then from our side，、uh, we just want to thank you， thank you for staying here one hour with us <laughs>。I hope it has not been very tiring， and、uh, we really hope to see you very 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 soon。OK， 呃，谢谢大家今天跟我们在一起的一个小时，那我们很希望能够呃很快再跟大家见面，谢谢。Thank you very much, Pedro, for your for your dedication.、Oh. Thank you. Thank thank you, Shavi. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you, Stacy and Monica. It's 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 my pleasure, and of course, thanks to all the attendees、uh, to 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 stay in here one hour. And I hope、uh, we 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 help you in 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 the modeling process uh, and uh, explaining exactly all the steps how to use、uh, Rhino Gold. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye.